Hello Leos! Welcome to your reading guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm Miss Seedy. If you're returning, welcome back my darlings. We're gonna get right into your reading with the dark side, light side, the divine feminine messages with the divine masculine confessions. And we're also gonna get the tarot and the journey into love to give you guys as much clarity. It's gonna be a lot of messages for you today so make sure you check them out. But just a quick announcement guys, I wanna give away a nice little thing because we're almost at 20k so I wanna do this little give back for you guys. Please comment. Um, you gotta like it, you gotta subscribe, I can check all that so make sure you do and of course please do comment you know where you're watching from how it's resonating uh, maybe three things you're grateful for or even your favorite quote I'm gonna be picking one lucky person to pull a card for you in the next reading so just super exciting Leo's I'm excited because your season's about here so you are either a Leo Cusper or you could of course just be uh, getting ready for your season what are your plans for your birthday uh, comment your birthdays too guys maybe you'll find your birthday twins uh, we're gonna look into the light side and the dark side here so we're gonna see what's happening between you and your person these are like the yin and yang feminine masculine energies we consist of both so please take them how they resonate and just a side note guys there's so many scammers everywhere so please know i will not reach out to you i do not ask for money i do not take your money i do not just message you to offer you a free reading that is not me uh we're being cloned here and on uh, tiktok too so there's only follow the links that i provide that's the only places that are they're my official pages and also uh the only place you can book a live reading with me. I do personal readings still on my website, missedtarot.com. That's the only place you can schedule them with me. Um, but I never ever write you. And the only place I do the live readings and the free readings are on my lives here and on TikTok. So make sure you join us over there too. Let me know you're from YouTube on the live. If you jump on, say hi. And again, don't forget to subscribe and check out the community section for positive posts. I share every single day, the great things that I find online. And if they work for me, they might work for you too. So Okay, I guess those ones did not want to go back. You saw that, right? Okay, so these are going to be your light messages. And let's see what are the dark side. So this is just kind of like the things that are hidden that we don't see, don't know. So this is going to give us more clarity on what they're thinking, feeling. You can fast forward. I know it takes a little minute sometimes to get the cards out for us. Awesome. Okay, these ones wanted to come last. So here we go. We have understanding. You never... Wow, you were never the problem. I know that now. So this person is realizing that it was them. Accountability. I like that. Good good sign for them. Sorry, guys. Technical stuff here. Sometimes two people have the, to fall apart to realize how much they need to fall back together. So this was kind of like doing things on your own and they're realizing or you're realizing or you're both realizing how you played a part because we all do play our parts in these situations. They're not just one sided. We caused it too. I'm really or or whatever happened we allowed it as well okay so i'm not trying to blame anyone i don't know each individual situation so i'll take responsibility for my words too i'm really missing our conversations i could always tell you anything so you two could just talk about whatever whenever okay shakira coming through here <laughs> i'm like that unconditional love you showed me what true love feels like just to be accepted like i feel like even true like true to tell you the truth and to tell you anything, they felt safe, they didn't feel judged and you love them still, no matter what they said, no matter how weird or how, you know, whatever it was they were opening up to you about, you just accepted them as they were. Clearing, I am letting go of all the things that don't serve me anymore. It's a good thing to do often to check and clear that space and because it is also a light card, you're lightening that load in uh, your spiritual space and your subconscious as well. These are the dark side. I know that we have unresolved karma that we need to clear first. So I feel like for some of you, there's definitely a conversation. Um, they're realizing what they did here and that needs to be cleared between them too. So they know, I know that now. So I know that, oh, wow, we have unresolved stuff. So I'm still checking you on social media. I just can't seem to let you go. I'm obsessed with you my 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 so that was that whole the things have to fall apart to fall together and they're obsessed with you so they're keeping tabs checking up on you dark night of the soul we were both facing the same fears so wow mirroring energy here uh twin flame soulmate connection for sure twin flame here for some of you ego death of the death of the ego i was too proud to admit that i do care about you so this person was really really hiding this unconditional love and what i think here is you were giving one of you were giving unconditional love and the other one 
was still battling their ego and this is the perfect yin and yang symbol right here just the the whole energy of that so we are mirroring each other i can't make this up okay i'm just saying twinsies um we're both facing the same thing and we're mirroring each other that's why we keep triggering one another we both need healing so you keep triggering each other until you're hearing healing that and then we have clearing that i'm letting go of all the things that are no longer serving me anymore so that is wow guys this is such a beautiful twin flame reading oh my god silence i don't want to talk right now because i don't know what to say crickets wow so you guys if you're dealing with a twin flame you're in separation uh others of you this could be why this person may not be able to come forward yet because they're they or you are still both obviously dealing with past traumas uh childhood stuff or just learning to love um part of it too so we got the divine me feminine messages this is uh messages of love by liz harrison she's an amazing reader here on youtube as well so make sure you check her out what else is coming ladies so this is the divine feminine energy. Of course, guys, please only take what resonates. If it's not for you, it might be for someone else. So if it doesn't sound like your situation, it's probably not. Don't make it fit. But uh, this is, again, gender is interchangeable when I read. I'm just reading the energies. So I wish you were here. My feminines need their part the counterpart we have a mission together okay that just screams twins twin flames you have to come together to serve your mission and your purpose so I'm just saying and then you have to fall apart so you can learn things that so you come together to learn and trigger and then heal and come back wow wow I want to fall asleep in your arms and wake up with you so very very loving uh safe energy Leo of course uh our love is eternal the eternal flame you are the one and o you are the only one for me. I don't know. I heard you're the one and only, so that might come through too. But you feel like home. Aww. So I feel the safest with you. They feel the most at peace. I like that. So divine masculine confessions. What's coming through? Commitment right off the bat. I'm going to read it for you to get you excited. I do want to commit to you when I feel ready for you. So this person does know. I wish you were here. Yeah, they want to be there too with you, but they just have to get through some things. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that needs to be cleared, especially the dark sides going through the, um, the I'm um, sorry, the dark night of the soul. So this divine masculine, what is the confessions for my beautiful Leos? Ooh, 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 anything else? I want to make sure we get a balance here. I'm trying to balance for you too. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. It was like they all just like spill over on me. We're not doing all of you. I can't do all of the cards all the time. Otherwise, I'd love to just read you the whole decks. <laughs> hey, hey, stop. Be good. Okay, I see that one. That one's going to be relevant. Commitment. So I do want to commit to you when I feel I'm ready for you. So they're, they're trying. Counseling. I have been getting help in healing myself. I want to do this right. So they are really, really trying to heal. Maybe this is the ego issue or the dark night of the soul. So they could be dealing with like anxiety, depression, something really hard here. Fears. Like a lot of fears are coming through. Um, healing. It's time for me to heal my childhood inner wounds. Oh my God. Okay. That's the whole triggering. That's the whole thing. Like that's just coming through for sure. Just confirming these. I just want you to see how <laughs> fear, again, fears. I'm afraid of this intense connection. So you guys are just the triggering just each other on a whole other level. Sorry. Okay. You get it. I know you get it. These are just rep repeating for you, but spying, I'm checking up on you on social media. So I'm checking up on you here. They're, they're following your social media. They're seeing what you're doing. So some of you, they still have access or they have a fake account. However, this is, they're, they're seeing what you're doing. Guilty. I wish I treated you better. transformation I, I could feel you receive that one transformation I'm changing my ways so they are evolving they're definitely growing here which is needed and a karmic situation I have to fulfill my car my soul lessons with other people first so that's sort of why they don't know what to say to you because they still have to overcome so many things here on their own so the masculine is definitely definitely going through a lot here too again this is just the energy so take it how it resonates to the situation 
let's do the tarot so tarot and then we'll use the uh my new oracle deck at the end there right off the bat four of cups so for some of you you could be like just doing your thing and focusing on yourself maybe you're feeling a little bored waiting for this situation spend some time outdoors get grounded uh four of cups talks about something coming in that you're not expecting so for some of you wow the regrets the regrets the regrets i can't make this up so here's you got the five of cups after the four of cups so i feel like someone feels like if they were to offer you something you might not even react some of you maybe didn't okay so that could be part of it too this person has a lot of grief a lot of regrets here in this situation if you both have your backs to each other like in this situation let's say you're like on the other side of that tree and they're just over here like you guys are both dealing with your own things differently but i feel like this person has those regrets they're they're ashamed and guilty about how they treated you it's crying over spilt milk here too for some of you that's part of the difficulty because it's like you thought you had all this stuff going on you thought this was the real deal and then boom no it wasn't but what's beautiful is that there's two beautiful cups behind you so don't cry over the spilt milk for too long um i feel like there's definitely a situation that will recover that will come into a better ten of pentacles at the bottom a more stable solid long-term situation what else is coming out okay let's take it world card closing of a cycle it was talking about karmic cycles here so you guys are having a victory world card though is about travel i mean you guys are on here too the fixed signs it could be a leo taurus scorpio or an aquarius that you're dealing with here but there's so much things there's victory there's overcoming this is a very big chapter this is entering into a new chapter for some of you like this is um they have you on a pedestal they look up to you they really respect you some of you could be in a like on a world stage even like with the world card traveling recognized like very global very global energy coming through so i don't know what you're doing and who you are but hey <laughs> okay oh i love it okay two of two of wands choosing choice some of you could be feeling like you're at a crossroads here and you're following the signs following the gui guidance the sun is guiding you that's your energy leo so trust it trust your intuition something is appearing here with that stag again the birds to me are always symbols so for some of you it's sort of like seeing the brightness in this having this new adventure moving into calmer waters like our favorite <laughs> favorite reader says the water uber is here so we are walking into this some of you really just left some of you guys just decided you know what like i'm not gonna sit here waiting and maybe that's why they regret it too it's because you're not where they left you um you never should be you should just keep going and they got to catch up if they're not going to catch up and they're not going to step up to your level with the world card then bye boy bye girl bye whatever it is bye felicia whatever you want moon new moon energy we just had that it's helping us in cancer energy it's helping us clear those deep emotions so mentally too you guys are also easing your mind and that's what's beautiful because part of this release with this grieving you're grieving in some capacity, but this is healing, right? We're letting go of those childhood wounds. We're grieving situations we maybe never learned how to. And because we're doing this, it's allowing us to have this different choice. But I feel like you can't move forward until you get up, brush off your knees and carry forward if it's your energy. But if it's their energy, you know, you kind of have to just like be patient, do your thing so that they can like keep growing, keep investing, keep pouring into yourself tending to your tree and then you're about ready to pick the fruits of your labor here some of you have really actually like moved away moved into a new area moved to a new location i mean waters here could be significant for some of you but you're moving into a more emotionally stable energy you're also like communicating some of you are not talking and you just kind of like disappeared in the situation that's why they're spying on you because you're not accessible to them the way you were before but you're building a solid foundation you've been working hard seven of pentacles is just like consistency doing what you got to do here nurturing this earth energy stability here coming through ace of cups so for some of you the moon is very significant here too but i told you there's definitely this cup here that this person is like getting ready to offer to you that you don't see coming those two cups behind you so it's your cup their cup there's definitely a lot of love there's a new cycle in love beginning there's new lessons in love there's blessings of love some of you are also like they're realizing they were too proud to tell you that they do care about you and now they're just like oh my god why couldn't i say it and maybe this stems from their childhood maybe this has like major consequences that go way back judgment call second chances um this doesn't always mean with an x okay so i don't want you to think that way too but with the judgment card that's two two tens two x's okay okay 
maybe you're, yeah, maybe you're going to have a choice here too, because we do have the two of wands. There could be a decision. I'm not saying that they're all from the past, blast from the past, maybe for some of you, but for others of you, the judgment is talking about a decision, a call, making this choice. It's divine timing at play here as well. And I feel like there's a resurrection in the situation, but we had transformation. So something old is gone and something new is being reborn or repurposed or transformed in that beautiful energy, Scorpio or Libra energy coming through with the seven of wands. We are a little defensive. Some of you could have blocked this person and that's why they got to like watch you from afar. They could like kind of show up here too. Maybe they're getting ready to travel towards you even. For others of you, this is about standing your ground. You set firm boundaries. Maybe they crossed the line. Maybe it was necessary. Or again, some of you had your defenses up because of other stuff that were going on. And with the mirroring and the triggering, like I feel like that could have been it is you get together and then something happens. You try to do it and then something happens. Like there's always like this separation that needs to happen to clear to then heal right and then that healing cycle brings this new love because that love is unconditional right the battle of unconditional love and ego so now they're regretting it and part of what they had to learn was you know what it feels like to have not expressed themselves, what it feels like to have not said what they wanted to. So some of you might literally be hearing from this person and they're going to stand up here and face this. Or some of them are coming in with this enlightenment or others, they are leaving situations in order to walk through this door to choose the adventure, to choose, right? You see that light behind them, the sun coming through again. There's a big choice, a big opportunity tower moment i feel like someone is really taking that leap of faith here too but something has to fall away and i feel like it's a it's a death of the ego for some i feel like that's the really significant message that i feel is coming through with the scorpio energy twice there's an opportunity to take this like someone really got uh a you know a shakedown here could have been a very sudden breakup or maybe you leaving and blocking them and them like feeling like they lost everything someone's crown got knocked right off their head probably deserved it. I'm just going to say that. Okay. I know Leo, I'm not saying because you're the king and queen of the jungle here, but someone definitely had a very big shakeup. Something was not built on a solid foundation. And this could have also been for you too. Just kind of like, wait, what? I thought we were building something. And it just turned out to be very sad, or at least you were building, building, building. And they did not pull their weight. They did not build the other side equally with you. And that's why it was on, on solid ground. So waiting, three wands we're waiting we're waiting for that ship to come in some of you again taking that wand and going and traveling and jumping on that boat and getting into this better direction moving into a better space a better place for some of you you really are relocating uh, or you're waiting for some boat to come in here with some communication and they can also be waiting for you you know I'm not sure entirely which dynamic this is relating to but with the four pentacles this is speaking about opening up our heart chakra expressing this person considers you a gem i mean this is my you know foreign card here too it could be egypt could be uh you know dubai could be coming through for some of you but this is such a beautiful um arabic energy is what's coming through for me so we do have cm could be significant we also have a shisha you know a is here and we are opening up with this this person is treasuring you this per like i feel like for some of you you know you're waiting for for someone to open up and show you their treasure, their heart, Leo, opening up your heart, right? Seeing this for what it is, feeling this for what it is and that love energy. So the ego needs to be removed. And some of you are waiting for this person, but you're also not waiting in the same spot. So I don't know, like you're, you're moving forward. You're taking this leap of faith. For some of you, you're embarking on your own journey in the meantime, okay? Let's see what the journey into love is. Speaking of which, so guys, this is my new Oracle deck. You can find the link in the bio. Um, you can order them. And once I get them, their international shipping is taking so long, but I'm going to be offering them on my store as well on my website. So make sure you do check it out if you need your bracelets, crystals, all kinds of fun stuff there, all available. And that's where you can book my tarot readings, my astrology charts as well. I do digital spreads too, which are a little bit more affordable. And uh, those ones, I provide a PDF version as well. It's a digital copy of the reading. So you can read it when it's convenient for you. We do quick, short card spreads as well. What else is coming out for Leo? I love that. Wow, this new moon is very significant for you guys. I feel like there's a lot of emotions that you may be realizing are coming up. And that could be sort of too, because Pisces is in retrograde. So that's 
lifting the veil on some situations for some of you. So let's see, Leos. It's more than just a crush. So it's more than a crush between the two of you, uh, obviously. I feel like someone just couldn't admit it to themselves, and the feminine definitely knew that, but th they didn't. You know, we also have Slippery When Wet, which is the Bon Jovi song, which you know what that means. I feel like, you know, things are kind of like, they're going to go forward very quickly or of course that's part of it too is it's more than just a crush because there's feelings there's emotions there's love there's sensual energies happening with that vibration and I want I want to show you how much I love you so some of you rainbow energy here too can of course mean same sex for others of you this is just sort of like all the different colors the chakras the the opening and receiving in this love because that vibration and frequency of love opens up all right I love you and then I love this energy with the new moon there too. But this is the Selena song. So late at night when all the world is sleeping, I stay up and think of you. And I wish on a star that somewhere you are thinking of me too. So there is so much, like I miss our conversations. I miss talking to you. I understand what I did. Like sometimes two people have to fall apart. So clearing, like they're, they're realizing and thinking of you and dreaming of you possibly even here too. Because two worlds collided is about your mixing. Like you guys mix so when you collided together you mix so much into each other that you don't know where you end and they begin and now it's sort of like when you're not together you don't know how to be yourself vice versa and you delicious <laughs> this is cotton candy so you guys could be really sweet or they of course you know the cotton candy could be significant for you too but they just think you are just delicious and that's that whole melts in your mouth energy so there's a lot of fun stuff that is coming through for you guys and i'm really happy to bring uh positive news in the sense that someone is really having this awakening and, a, and realization and for some of you you know you wish you could be with them they feel like home and you feel like home because you guys blended so nicely like your energies were very um simpatico <laughs> very uh comp mm, what's it called complimentary towards one another and obviously it was more than a crush but you know i i want to show you that i love you and i love you coming out together so there's just so much and then unconditional love too like you showed me what true love feels like like this person is like day or night realizing that they love you you know like there's just so much beautiful mirrored energy again with that mirroring card so part of it too was kind of like you guys crashed into each other and that made a whole bunch of reactions right so i kind of like that little you know science going on there for you from the science nerd me but i love you guys i hope these resonated so please do comment so i can pick you guys for the next reading i will comment and then i'll pick someone for the end to do a private little reading as always stay safe do check out the other videos so that you can um see maybe there's more clarity in your situation just focus on the titles so that they can help you uh the time is irrelevant because it's the message is going to find you when you need to hear it so please again love you guys we'll see you really soon next time. I enjoy you. Stay safe. God bless. Love and light. Take care. Bye.